but welcome back to Fish Tank on the Trail. So we uh, had a good night at uh, mile 1063. I didn't sleep for crap. I don't know what the deal was. Beautiful campsite next to Lily Lake. Had a great dinner. Went to bed about 8, 8.30. And I laid there till 2 in the morning. So, I don't know. Go figure. But we are about mile 1065 right now, maybe 1064 and a half. We've probably gone a couple miles. We're uh, just getting ready to cross the highway up here. We're thinking there might be water underneath it in a form of a stream, but we're not sure. But the goal today is about another 10 miles, 11 miles to about mile 1073. Still but we just started what we believe is our first thousand foot climb of the day. It's not bad out here other than the smoke. We woke up and it was clear, but as we started walking about 20 minutes ago, you can start smelling it and now I can actually start seeing it off in the distance and start starting to get more hazy. Just too many fires basically all around us. And it's a shame, but according to the uh, the geologists and everybody, they say it's its necessary evil, so whatever. But it's just the four of us, and here's a shot of the back end of Magic Man. And he is, he is the Magic Man. This morning we rocked out to Pink Floyd, Alabama. And a bunch, a bunch of other good tunes. In front of him we have Pink, and then leading the pack up there, Turtle. Yeah, now these guys are all laughing at me. Magic Man thinks he's funny. So I was calling this Highway 50, which means we would have been, which when we would have been done. But it's not Highway 50. It's what Blue Lakes Road. Yeah. Blue Lake Road. So pretty cool. And the trail continues right over there, right up on that tree, you'll see the PCT sign. Right there. Right there. Pretty cool. And there's the water source. If you really, really needed it, there's just a few little puddles. Oh, well, there's a puddle down there that you could scrape some mosquito larvae off of. Pretty cool, pretty sweet, living the dream.
everybody back on trail. I want to give you a check to look at this view. Any of you ever asked me, you know, why do I do what I do? This is why I do what I do. Check this out. How cool is that, huh? I haven't said it in a couple days because of all the smoke, but baby, live out loud. It's been awesome. So we're sitting at uh, about mile, I don't know, um, 1068 maybe, 1068. Um, I want to say Blue Lakes on my left that I just showed down there. And these over here, those are the Lost Lakes. There's one, two, and then kind of a swampy area down there. Really cool. It's what's really awesome about the PCT is how the terrain just can change so drastically in just a just a few amount of miles, if even that. You know, started out in the in the trees down there at uh, near Samora and Ebbets Pass area, Highway Four, and then we hit you know some of the cactus, you know, the high desert lookalikes that you saw in, you know, Camp Bone above Idlewild. Then you get out here to where you feel like you're, you know, near the moon uh, on this, these like lava rock type, type things. Pretty cool. about mile 1072 I think it is we've got like another mile before our preferred camp spot but we're walking right into a thunder and lightning rainstorm sweet Hey everyone, fish tank here. Man, I barely beat the storm. Got a little bit wet. Killer thunder and lightning and rainstorm. As you can see, I'm in the tent. The rain's coming down pretty good. At, uh, sitting at mile 1073 of the PCT. Awesome day of hiking. I just love these adverse conditions. Um, I'd rather have thunder and lightning and rain than hot and sunny any day of the week. And those of you that have been following me know that I didn't get many of those wet days. Um, in fact, I only think I wore my parka twice. Uh, one was up on top of uh, Idlewild in the ice storm that I called Narnia, uh, video 15, and then uh, just right over Sonora Pass, uh, the thunderstorm that me, Fine Schmecke, and Chef got in. So this is just awesome. Um, never did put on my parka because it just started to drizzle as soon as I got here. But I just went and got some water down at the creek, um, about 100 yards or 50 yards away. I'm gonna finish setting tent up, I'm gonna filter some water, and I'm gonna cook me some dinner. And I'm thinking spaghetti, mountain house spaghetti. I didn't eat dinner the first night I was out. The hiker hunger is kicked back in, it didn't take long. I might have two dinners tonight. So, um, hope this finds everybody healthy, happy, and well, and I will get back with you later. But this is awesome. Fish tank, in the fish globe, out. Hi everyone, so I'm 
nice and warm in my uh, my tent. And on the menu this evening is the Mountain House freeze dried spaghetti with a melted now it's hard as a rock uh, Snickers troublemaker. And uh, I got some ramen if I want ramen. I've got some Fritos and some tortillas. So doesn't get doesn't get much better than this, folks. Crazy, crazy epic inside my tent. It's raining like crazy out there. Super, super wet, but I am comfy, warm, and dry with all of my gear, and it's just crazy, crazy epic. How many times have I said that? Just crazy epic. Just totally epic, crazy. Loving it. What a great day of hiking. Did 10 miles again today for the third day in a row. Or second day in a row. Third, third day in a row. Not pushing it too hard. Uh, meeting Snow Cone on the 16th. Just chilling like a villain. Loving it. Uh, shout out to everybody out there that's uh, following. I appreciate it. I hope you're enjoying the videos. Um, I know I'm super, super hungry. I'm going to tear into that spaghetti. And maybe a half a thing of ramen. So, hope this finds everybody well. Hope you're good. Thank you.